Hey everybody, it's Andy, a.k.a. Max Ryder. I thought I would do a little video this morning. It's very early and rather dark. But, beginning of a day. we got an early start today, so this isn't a typical day in the life. It is more of an unusual day. I'm taking Bailey to the vet here shortly. And I'm supposed to meet with some people uh, to make characters, and then... Their network meeting tonight, so I guess we could call this busy day video, maybe. Oh, here's me. Good morning. Ugh. Uh, it's Wednesday, September 3rd. We lost MJ. She took off after something. What was she, what'd she go after, Bailey? What's that? Oh, oh, I hear She's coming back. Good girl. What a good girl. There she is. Good girl. Good girl. Let's get you two some treats. Somebody's a little nervous about going to the vet. Bless her heart. So we're taking her in because she, um, she's been limping on her, fr her front left leg. Whenever she first gets up, from lying down, and I, I wanted it looked at because it's gotten pretty bad. Um, after she's been moving around for a little while, it's okay. I'm hoping it's just a little arthritis or something, but no reason why I shouldn't check her out or check have it checked out. So uh, we're off to the vet. Okay, we're here. Are you ready for this little girl? And she's had her temperature taken and her pulse. And she's calming down a little bit. She's not shaking like she usually does, which I love to see. But oh, there you go. She's panting, it's nerves. Okay, she's got a little arthritis. We had a little trauma with the couldn't get the blood. Well, the blood test was a little traumatic. Come here. Okay, not a completely atypical visit to the vet. Bailey's got some high levels that indicate she's got some liver issues going on. Um, the vet... Sorry, I uh, had some issues getting out of the vet. Uh, the, the vet suggested... Um, she got me, Dr. Parrish got me some their liver treats, I guess. It's supposed to be good for her liver, and, and we're going to take her back in two weeks, and we're going to check on her progress. So, um, I'm a little worried, and I hope she's going to be okay. Bad news and blue skies. Hi, Bailey. You're so good. So we're back on the road again, uh, this time on the way to Vilas, to the apartment where we're going to meet with, hopefully, if people make it, uh, Aaron and Logan and James to roll up their new Superworld characters. Here's lovely Vilas, and there's the apartment. Ooh, I don't know where people can park on the weekdays. And I'm back! I meant to take some video of us working on characters. Uh, just a little, like 10 seconds, and then just totally got distracted by the whole process. Because we had three people working on characters. It is now 4 p.m. We got there around 12.30 to 1. So it was, it takes a little less time with just one or two people. If you've got three people, it takes a bit longer. But they all had their characters in mind. They knew what they were making, and we got it done. We got, so right now I have five completed characters. Uh, one almost done, and a few more people I need to set up to see. Bailey's ready for supper. Alrighty, my last thing for today, or one of the last things, is the Nerd Network meeting here at Appalachian State University. Well, Appalachian's actually uh, to my right. Uh, yeah. So we're going to get to that. It has been a busy day. Yes. Yes.
the first thing I hear from John is they wear a horror show. Strange. All right, that was the end of the evening. I forgot to do any recording of Caitlin finishing up her character for Superworld. The Nerd Network meeting actually got moved to a larger venue, which was good. And now we are just heading home. Hooray.